Crew Street Cars Mackay. Um, this is something that I've been wanting to do for a little while, but I've never really been sure on how to do it or, or whatever. But we're starting our own YouTube channel and we're going to start doing some videos on some local cars. Um, this is going to be the first episode and I've got something pretty special in, in line up. So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy it. I can uh, grow and learn over time and get some feedback. But, yeah, anyway, we're heading out there now to have a look at the first episode. So, here we go.
Yeah. Um, yeah. What sort of engine? Uh, it's a 351 Cleveland, the uh, bottom end. Uh, ended up, I guess we made some custom chambered AFR, uh, sorry, AFD heads, made my intake manifold, uh, 871 Mooney hand, show blow injector hat, uh, full sports offset belt driven fuse. I had to make a lot of stuff. You, 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 can, you ring people up and tell them what you're trying to do. They, they don't laugh. They've already hung up. <laughs> so yeah, it's been a bit of a... See how it goes. I bought the blower before it even measured it to which fit and evidently it didn't. So I had to cut the firewall and plate it. Yeah. They look too close, mate. <laughs> but, you know, it's been... Uh, what else? You know, strengthen the bottom up. Originally, I built the bottom end for you know a bit of cheeky nos back back in the day. I didn't end up going down that route. Water blower didn't tell the missus. I originally built this car for her. It had four wheel drive and it was lifted 35s and it looked like a proper Bronco. And then I was According to her, I'm fucked it. <laughs> um, but it's been fun, you know. I, I, I guess I didn't have a car uh, to do something like this with at the time, so I just did the only thing that I had. Since then, I've found the car that I've wanted to do, to do something with, and I'm still spending money on it. I don't know where it's going to stop. If it probably, uh, probably never will. As much as I've told her, I, I, I've stopped. <laughs> um, C6, two-wheel drive, uh, with everything I could put in it. It's actually held up pretty well, surprisingly. It was built by Joe's Transmissions down in South Wales. Um, got a 3.6 stall in it. Um, I'm on my fourth lift center in years. Gone through a few there. Nine inch, big bearing nine inch, four three gears, uh, aluminium carrier, through track, uh, 31 spline, chrome oily axle. This, yeah, the centers, the centers are, are fine, it's the gears that I think you know, do. So. I'm trying four threes now, I think that's going to move this weight a bit better. Uh, especially with the ratio of the C6, it's a bit more in line with, say, a turbo 400. Um, I'm building another short motor for it, which was, I guess, the engine I should have built, which is a stroker, but it's been fun. It's, been fun. it's, it's certainly gotten out of hand. You know? <laughs> I don't think you would have got far. I don't, unless there was a servo, you know. It's not. Um, are you filming? Okay. Uh, I put an 85 F-150 two-wheel drive front end in. I couldn't decide on what spring height I wanted, so I end up making my own airbag to, like, as a coil replacement, just to see if they would work. So the top plates and the bottom plates is just a temporary thing, which is now stayed there because <laughs> I've always said I was going to redo them again, so make it better again. But it's um working well and it's good to drop it down to work on it because it can be a pain now to set up in there yeah. <laughs> yeah my bank balance will tell you <laughs> mm. my goal is 11 seconds that's my ultimate goal in its current form so 12, 3, 12, 3 now, but not, yeah, <laughs> I guess not with the latest converter and I'm still doing a little bit of changes with the ECU and whatnot, so I think yeah, in a couple of weeks there's another another meet, I think I'll get my goal, I feel like I'll hit that 11s and and I said that I'll be here, but no, I'm just lying to myself. If I can crack into the 10s, I'd be fucking up.
you know, a lot of people know Mr. Cube and, and Rob's Bronco. Same year, same model. And he's, he might be in V8 now, certainly 9-0. But we've become friends over the years. Chatting, chatting with his a lot. Uh, I'm about 900 horsepower short. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think his is 1800 horsepower. I know, well, I know it. So that's what you need to move 2.4 tons. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't choose a worse car. And, you know, I, this, this is what I want to do and this is what I end up doing. So, is it? <laughs> <laughs> It is different. It's different, but I'm glad to save another Bronco from the from the depths of uh, from rust because when I found it, it was it was it was poor. It, the panel beater said, "Find another shell." I said, "Well, there's not a blister pack full of them." <laughs> Just can continue on so we progressed, and I spent all the money on the rust repairs, and we painted it in the back, and it's held up. And I'll just keep convincing myself it's fine. Because I can't afford to do anything to paint. But paint doesn't make you go fast. Same with brakes. Brakes aren't going to make you go fast. I'm going to keep them stopped. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's right. Exactly right. It's, um, it's a journey and I'm enjoying it. My wife said I've ruined it, but she's still here. All right, guys, that's the end of that episode. I uh, hope you've got something out of it, um, enjoyed some of it, and whatnot. Um, thanks to Matt again for showing us his cool Bronco. We'll have some more episodes of some other cars coming up in the pipeline that we've lined up. Um, yeah, so there'll be a few more of these. We'll have our last meet of the year on as well. So we'll get some film of there and we'll, we'll get that out and about. So you just can have a look and next year we'll see what we can do there. But um, yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that sort of stuff. If you think we can do something better, let me know very amateur, I know, but anyway, cheers. <laughs>